today. Sneak in a getaway before summer slips away. Make a big splash in Guthrie. Drop in on a Grand Lake tradition and pick your own summertime bounty. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the Rockwell RV Park along I-40 in Oklahoma City. And hey, this is the way to travel. That's in the way the to summer. go. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I'm Dino Lolly. We are celebrating summer on this week's show. You know those high temperatures? We can gripe about them, or you can just consider it a unique opportunity for fun. That's true, and you know what? It's not going to be long before the popsicles turn into pumpkins. Today's hot weather, it'll be Kool-Aid in about 30 seconds. Mere seconds. But now's the time to get out and celebrate summer in Oklahoma. Jeff Roberts found an extreme sports park in Guthrie that just has summer written all over it. All right, so you've seen Cable Lakes all over the place. You've heard about them, but you're always going, what are they? What is Cable Lake? What is wakeboarding on cables? Today, that's exactly what we're going to find out. Garrett Skeen is here with uh, Cable Wake Zone. Is that what you call it? That's it. And it's behind us here. Now, seriously, everybody's going, I've seen this off of I-35. Yeah. What the heck is it? It is wakeboarding without the boat. We, uh, if you just have some energy and some board shorts, you show up. We have all the rental gear available for you. And you just say, hey, I want to ride. And you just come out and ride and have fun. Now, you brought up something that's kind of interesting for the folks watching, that with gas prices and everything, this really is the wave of the future. It, it really is. We are one of 12 in the nation, the only one in Oklahoma. And, you know, going out on the boat costs two, $300 easy each trip. And, you know, coming here, it can cost anywhere from 18 up to 80 bucks a day, depending on how long you want to ride or if you have your rental gear or not. All right, so I brought the boys so that I can maybe show them that the old man can still do this. Do you think the three of us will be able to get this done? Oh, yeah. We have a really good staff. They're going to get you off the dock, and uh, no problem at all. You see all these experts out here doing this, you know, and these guys showing off and everything. Then we're going to get the old guy out there, me. We're gonna face plant. We got the helmet cam going. It's gonna be a great face plant. Now, I hope I'm wrong. What happens whenever it pulls, it's gonna pull you kind of quick. When it pulls, we don't want our arms to come out in our arms. And with a few quick pointers from Weston, okay. bam, suddenly the rope tightens and I'm off. Woohoo! I am flying, baby. And I was rocking it until. Then all I could do was pick up my board and what was left of my pride and head back. This is the long walk of shame back to the dock. Yeah, I know, laugh it up. And as you probably figured out by now, the boys took to cable wakeboarding so naturally, it was like, wait for it, ducks to water. Okay, I know that was a bad pun, but they did. But you know what? Even though they did better than their old man, it was not without a few fails of their own. Honestly, I thought it was better than being pulled behind a boat uh, a lot faster. A lot, I thought it was a lot more fun. It's good for those that don't know how because they have lessons. And it's good for those advanced people because they have like ramps and stuff that you can go on. Now, here at Wigs and we've showed you literally you can spend all day, noon to eight, every day, right here doing everything, including the concessions, which, by the way, can I get a large water, uh, some beef jerky, and a couple of honey buns? Yeah. Yeah. Right, come on, I've worked hard. For wakeboarding, though, this right here, this is more my speed for wakeboarding. At Wake Zone, I'm Jeff Roberts. Grab some summer at Central Oklahoma Wakeboard Center in Guthrie. They're open seven days a week, but closed during the winter months, and we will link you to their website from ours, discoveroklahomatv.com. That looks fun. It does look fun. Of course, Jeff's always going to make a big splash. Folks up in Grand Lake know all about making a big splash. Have you heard about the big bobber drop? I have. Is that where they drop all of them from a helicopter and people can go scoop them up and redeem them for some great prizes? So you have heard of it. Well, that's because I'm the all-knowing, omnipotent soothsayer of all things Oklahoma. Yeah. I've been called other things, but I tell you who knows about it, and that's Shell Wagner, because she's been on Grand Lake at the Bopper Drop, and she can tell you firsthand. It's occupied a corner of downtown Grove for as long as anyone can remember. The water toys floating on the breeze outside of Grand Lake Sports Center have changed with the trends over the years. 
But what hasn't changed is that just like in the 1960s, this is the designated first stop. It's a 40 year tradition that the quintessential Grand Lake adventure starts right here. What began as a bait farm evolved into a retail store as well as a wholesale bait business. Third generation owner Sam Williams took over the shop from his dad who had taken over the shop from his dad. And Sam has put his own twist on the place, adding live tanks of fish, turtles, talking birds, even a tarantula. And he's revived a long forgotten Grand Lake tradition, the great grand bobber drop. My grandpa had this idea and he flew over the, the lake with an airplane. And back then he had 3,000 bobbers and he wrote numbers on them and he threw them down in the Grand Lake. Folks would retrieve the bobbers and return them to the store to see if they'd won a prize. Started in 1961 and continuing annually for a decade, the event abruptly stopped in 1971 and no one seems to recall why. But thanks to Sam, the tradition is back. He's replaced the airplane with a helicopter, and several thousand bobbers have been added to the drop. 6,000 bobbers now. But the off-the-charts enthusiasm level was just as everybody remembered. Now an annual event, the bobber drop is nothing if not a spectacle. Hundreds of boats and wave runners and cruisers jockey on the lake to capture bobbers by whatever means possible motivated by a tantalizing roster of prizes. Bobber numbers match up to more than a thousand giveaways, sponsored by local vendors, and could win you prizes ranging from fishing lures to a tropical vacation, and all sorts of swag in between. Somebody even won a steer while I was there. Elbow to elbow, folks turn in their bobbers at Grand Lake Sports Center. There's a two bobber a person limit so that everybody has a shot and then hold their breath while they find out if they're taking home some loot. Even if you don't claim a tangible prize this year, there's always next year, if Sam Williams and company are so willing. And every participant is guaranteed to take home a priceless Grand Lake memory. At the Grand Lake Sports Center in Grove, I'm Shell Wagner. This year's Great Grand Barber Drop is happening Saturday, August 13th, and we'll link you to all the information you need from our website. If you've stayed away from Grand Lake because of blue-green algae concerns, we're happy to report the Grand River Dam Authority has lifted all the algae warnings and has declared the water safe for family fun. We're kicking back here at the Rockwell RV Park, and this beauty behind us was donated by McLean's RV Superstore. This place, it, it, we're just a few miles actually west of downtown Oklahoma City. You can't get more centrally located than this right here, as a matter of fact. Now, if you are an RVer and you're on vacation in Oklahoma City, this is where you need to experience all the fun things that are in this area. Don't be fooled into thinking RV park accommodations are too primitive for you. The folks at Rockwell RV Park, for example, have ramped up the RV park guest experience. You'll find a heated pool and spa, 14 private showers, cable TV, free coffee, muffins, newspaper, and Wi-Fi. Even if you don't have an RV, they've still got you covered with fully equipped cabins. You can take the kids fishing or check out the buffalo herd or spend the night in one of their teepees. You'll find this great place and many others in the Oklahoma Outdoor Recreation Guide for 2011-2012. From state parks to RV parks to lakes and campgrounds, the new guide will fulfill all your outdoor dreams. Whether you're into hiking, fishing, rock climbing, or golf, you name it, it's in this handy guide. To get your hands on one, just click on the link on our website, discoveroklahomatv.com, or you can go to one of the tourist information centers throughout the state, and they're free. You'll want to make your way to Rockwell RV Park September 2nd, 3rd, and 4th for a bluegrass music festival featuring the Byron Berline Band and many of our other bluegrass favorites. You need to stick around. Up next, we've got a summertime ritual that's easy on the eye. Curves and Chrome will cruise again into this charming green country town, and you're invited when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. Hey, how's Kara doing? Great. Absolutely loves being in college. And Sam? Just started driving. Mm, watch out. Yeah, we just added him to our AAA membership. Smart move. I'm just glad we have good insurance. What do you guys use? We switched over to AAA auto insurance. With another driver in the house, it just made sense to check out pricing. AAA saved us a ton. I didn't know they had insurance, too. Yeah, auto home and life. Remember that time when we snuck Dad's car out and got that flat? Here they go again. Triple A came and fixed it, and the folks never found out. Found out what? Nothing, Dad. Talking about the time you two snuck the car out while we were gone. 
You, you knew? knew? Well, of course. Why do you think Mom and I added you girls to our AAA membership? Never told you I always checked the odometer, did I? Oh, great idea. Thanks, Grandpa. AAA Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a AAA agent nearest you. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. We're at the RV park at Rockwell. This is a great location. And what we're doing right now is discovering locations that just scream summer. And that does describe our next event in the town of Jay, where each summer motorized beauties scream into town. When's the last time you cruised Main Street? Well, chances are it's been a while, but a trip to Jay Cruise Night will allow you to join thousands of people revving up their engines for an old-fashioned day of fun. We've got Model A's in here, you know, we just, we've got all kinds, and, and probably some of the classiest cars you will see anywhere. They, they bring out their good stuff for this, because they know that the streets are lined, they like to show off their cars, and uh, that's what they do. Since 1999, Jay has welcomed avid car lovers from all over who want to show off their wheels. But the event started as a way to create a fun event just for the citizens of Jay. There was some car enthusiasts that had seen this before, and I don't really think anybody had ever tried it. You know, there's a lot of car shows where people come and they park, they judge their cars with classes, you know, different classes. And uh, this guy said, what we need to do, we need to have a cruise. And we, you know, we, we was wondering if the people were going to come. And he said, well, they should. So anyway, we put out a lot of advertisement. First year, I think we had 67 vehicles. We've had as many as 327. This one day event makes the town of Jay come alive with cruisers and participants come from as far away as Colorado to take in the town. And if you think this event is for guys only, well, you'll need to think again. Of course, there's some ladies with some pretty hot cars, too, let me yeah, tell you. Yeah, yeah there is. There's some, there's some ladies that enter some pretty cars. For the best view, bring your lawn chair and set up along the cruise route where each car will show off before the judges pick their favorites. The cruise starts at the high school, and it'll come down through the uh, center of town. It goes out to the junction about a mile west. They turn around, they come back, and uh, most of them come back in here and wait for the awards and then the others would continue cruising for quite a while. Well, till midnight. Yeah, it's after midnight. There's something for everyone here, including food and plenty of fun. And if you buy a raffle ticket, you might get to cruise home in a great car of your very own. And it's a family event, as you can see. You know, we let not-for-profits set up on the square and they sell food as fundraisers and then people bring their lawn chairs and the band plays and the radio station does a live remote and the kids run around and play and it's, it's family, it's family, it's family event. This year's annual cruise night's happening August 13th, so pack your lawn chairs and head for Jay. But don't go anywhere just yet because up next we have what is quite possibly the most important and best thing about summer in Oklahoma. I'm thinking the food. Of course, the food. We'll take you to a pick your own paradise that's extra bountiful in the summertime. We've got your vine ripened destination when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns in two short minutes. I didn't forget anything. I think we're all set. Hard to believe Megan is in college. Do you remember how she cried and cried when we dropped her off at kindergarten? We were both crying. Good thing we're only a few hours away. Last box. You can call us tomorrow. I will, Daddy. And one more thing. <laughs> You're gonna need these. No way. Are you kidding? <laughs> Okay, sweetheart, but you have to be careful. Now, I put the AAA insurance policy and the membership information in the glove box. Just in case anything should happen. <laughs> okay. I'm really glad we switched our auto insurance to AAA. Really saved us some money. Not to mention peace of mind. It's nice knowing AAA will be there if a car ever breaks down, too. John, are those tears I see? No. AAA Auto Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a AAA agent nearest you. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. And you know, this time of year, I just love the idea of having a big garden in my yard full of all kinds of fresh vegetables. I love the idea of that myself. <laughs> There's the rub, isn't it? I yeah. never get past the idea stage. Well, lucky for us, there are some people near Arcadia, Northeast Edmond. They've taken their idea of their garden straight from the idea phase straight to reality. Crestview Farms is our agritourism destination of the week. With hundreds of deep-rooted agricultural destinations across our state, agritourism continues to be Oklahoma's growing adventure. 
What started out as a hobby and a dream has turned into a year-round operation of growing organic produce. At first, their idea was to put an apple orchard on the property they purchased, maybe take some produce to the farmer's market, and now the list of items they grow is very extensive. Lettuce, carrots, green onions, radishes, tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, garlic, apples, pears, blackberries, and on and on. And I have always been a vegetable grower. I always had a garden in the backyard and uh, was proud of producing my own food. And uh, it's been basically organic, and that's what we are, certified organic. We became that way in 2003. And uh, so it has evolved into a business. And what a business. They run a CSA, or Community Supported Agriculture. That's where people can pay in advance to get a bag of produce every week for so many weeks. They also go to the OSU OKC Farmers Market, as well as the Chesapeake Market on Wednesdays. And they sell through the Oklahoma Food Co-op, and that's a once a month delivery service. We've become uh, pretty big into the local, buy local, buy fresh movement. Uh, you're not buying something, even if it comes from a health food, through health food store or Whole Foods is coming in or whatever. Uh, it's not coming from 1,500 miles away. You know it's been picked that week. And it it's, uh, has all the vitamins retained in the product rather than letting them sit in a truck traveling that far away. And uh, we just are very proud of what we do and our local producers that I buy from are very proud of their products also. And you can tell Susan and her husband take great pride in their farm and what they're doing. Working this acreage is a passion for them. They have a love of the earth and the benefits it produces. Sometimes many of us forget about. And don't forget, you can tour the almost 26 acre Crestview Farms by appointment. We do do uh, you pick blackberries and we have school groups that come out in the summertime. And do a little, they do a little picnic and uh, pick their blackberries and go home and uh, the kids really like it. And if you come by for a tour you'll have to go by their shop you can find quite a few other made in Oklahoma products from other producers. We sell uh, Christian cheese, uh, free range eggs, uh, salsa from Bartlesville, chips, dips and jams, all from Bartlesville right and we do have grape juice and that's from Lexington. And so we try to include other producers in our, in our business, which has is, is turned out very well. Good idea. Oklahoma-grown produce and products are always a very good idea anytime. At the Crestview Farms, I'm Dean O'Lally. The folks at Crestview Farms in Arcadia take care of all the back-breaking aspects of gardening and leave the fun part to you, all the picking and the tasting. Visit discoveroklahomatv.com and we'll shovel up the hours and location information and even a link to a list of the produce that's ready for the picking. With hundreds of deep-rooted agricultural destinations across our state, agritourism continues to be Oklahoma's growing adventure. Coming up on AAA's Discover Oklahoma, a trip to the beach only without all the jellyfish and all that sticky sand. We'll just kick back in a cabana and watch the waves. There's no better place to slide through the summer and we'll take you there when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns in just a moment. Hey, how's Kara doing? Great, absolutely loves being in college. And Sam? Just started driving. Mm, watch out. Yeah, we just added him to our AAA membership. Smart move. I'm just glad we have good insurance. Who do you guys use? We switched over to AAA auto insurance. With another driver in the house, it just made sense to check out pricing. AAA saved us a ton. I didn't know they had insurance too. Yeah, auto home and life. Remember that time when we snuck dad's car up? Got that flat. Here they go again. Triple A came and fixed it, and the folks never found out. Found out what? Nothing, Dad. Talking about the time you two snuck the car out while we were gone. You, you knew? knew? Well, of course. Why do you think Mom and I added you girls to our Triple A membership? Never told you I always checked the odometer, did I? Oh, great idea. Thanks, Grandpa. Triple A Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a Triple A agent nearest you. Welcome back. You know, AAA of Oklahoma makes this show possible. AAA does lots of other great stuff around our state. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hello, I'm Chuck May with AAA. Even before Oklahoma became a state, AAA was supplying America's early drivers with information on travel routes, service facilities, and the laws of the road. 
Early road maps were designed with bicyclists in mind, so AAA began producing maps for motorists, which eventually became a series of tour book travel guides. In fact, the first road signs to list highway names and mileages to nearby towns came from AAA, as did the first system designed to give drivers up-to-the-minute road conditions. In addition, AAA offered recommendations on hotels, motels, and restaurants, all to give travelers an enjoyable journey across our beautiful countryside. Today, AAA continues to offer maps and tour books, as well as worldwide travel services through AAA Travel. And you can always reach AAA by phone, online, or in person at any of our 11 full-service locations in Oklahoma. Until then, may the road lead you to exciting new discoveries. Whether it's insurance, travel, or peace of mind on the road, think AAA every day. AAA, for the ones that matter most to you. Well, we've been celebrating summer sunshine this week from water sports stories to beat the heat stories. I think it's just been an excuse all week for Jeff Roberts to come to work in swim trucks is what I think. And to be around girls in bikinis, by the way, I might add. Are you feeling cheated by that? Don't just forget, a little bit. <laughs> you got to pick vegetables and hang out with the buffalo here at the RV park. Well, that's very true. But when we get back to the office, I'll be talking to our assignment editor <laughs> about, that very <laughs> about that very thing. But in the meantime, here's Jeff on his report on Whitewater Bay. Whitewater Bay opened up in 1981. You've driven by it a hundred times, but you haven't been here recently. Let's see what's inside these gates, come on. We have uh, more than 18 rides and attractions. We have anywhere from just a, a kid's pool, and then we have all the way up to the speed slides that are coming off of towers that are 65 feet high and even more. We also have like a lazy river that keep, people can just relax and, uh, and float around on a tube and have a great time just relaxing and sunning. Uh, we have a wave pool that's uh, 850,000 gallons and makes waves that are sometimes three and four feet high. So what I'm standing in now is a private cabana that you can rent this space for a day and not only do you have your own private space with like a, the, uh, the patio set with four chairs, we also out in the sun, you have a sun space that's private and you, can, you have lounge chairs there. And then the best thing I think about it is that you have waiter waitress service that, that all you have to do is just pick up the phone or snap a finger and we're right there to take your order. We'll bring you anything you want. Are you guys hungry? Yeah, I want something sweet. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, come in, boy. Here I am, ladies. Hi. Okay, what can I get you? Um, a shark bait pizza. Shark bait pizza, new. And a funnel cake. A funnel cake. A tropical pizza. Great, one tropical pizza. All right, I'll take care of it. I gotta go. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. You saw the orders uh, come in. We had the uh, the shark bait pizza. I said bite one time. Oh, great. And I also said uh, the tropical pizza. This is Desiree, she's with me. Now you're gonna walk me through how to do this real quick, uh, right? Of course I am. So we go like sprinkle, sprinkle, Oh, sprinkle. No. No. No, 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 no. You grab cheese. Oh, look at there. Emerald has nothing on me. Here you go. Yes. Dig in. Dibs on this one. All right, part of my job as Cabana Boy is to do what the girls want. They want to go down to the Big Kahuna. We're going to get it all right here on the helmet cam. Let's go find out what happened. We have had an absolute great time here at Whitewater Bay, and you can too. The entire family will love it, Memorial Day to Labor Day. Check it out anytime you can. Boy. That means me. I gotta go. Big thanks to the folks here at the Rockwell RV Park for hosting us this week and for being such a handy location just adjacent to downtown Oklahoma City. It truly is. We also want to say thank you to McLean's RV Superstore for letting us borrow this beautiful RV for the show. And do we really have to give it back? Thanks go. to you for watching. Next week, we're all about Enid, from a sampling of international flavors and a first-rate cultural center to the unique boutiques and quirky discoveries that make this northwestern Oklahoma City a destination. Hope to join us. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.